Alright guys, how's it going? It is Friday, woohoo, the 23rd of November 2018 and you're watching Copter.tv. Alright, I've had a shave for you today. I watched yesterday's video back and I was like, you know, don't fuck me, you look like Zach Dingle. You know, I looked a little bit rough on that, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, but the chicks like it, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I've had a shave for you, you know, and uh, it's quite funny actually, because in the comment section yesterday, you were all like, God, don't you look well, man? I'm like, you're having a laugh, what's that all about? So uh, if you thought I looked well yesterday, today, you must think I look fucking gorgeous, you know what I'm saying? Face for radio, yes, I know, and um, that's all I'm doing this weekend is the radio show, right? So Saturday afternoon, 1pm UK time, if you want to listen to the sports show, where we only talk about football anyway, uh, then just get the, uh, the tune-in app for your mobile device, Search Radio One Benadorm or go to Radio One Benadorm .es. All right. So if you want to listen to that, if you're not doing anything, um, by all means, join me. So that's the only thing uh, that I'm doing this weekend is the radio show. I'm not out tonight, not out tomorrow, not doing anything. I'm just going to enjoy the football, and um, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Well, I would have it another way, but um, that'll do for now. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, what are you up to guys this weekend? Will you let me know in the comments section? I like to know what you're doing. It's like a bit personal, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? We're all mates. Aren't we? Well, not everyone that watches my video is a mate, but um, you know, they still watch. Um, guys, so uh, Sadio Mane is obviously leaving now in January, having, uh, <laughs> having uh, agreed new terms in Liverpool. Um, no, hey, look, fantastic, fantastic, fantastic news, as Brendan Rodgers would say. Uh, that come out last night that he'd uh, agreed terms on a new deal. Obviously, he's got himself a nice pay rise, brings him in line with the uh, with the other you know main players, star players, if you like. And um, more importantly, you know, all right, I know, all right, I'll I'll start again. More importantly, uh, he, it commits his uh, long term future, if you like, immediate future to the club, the club. Um, but most people would probably say, ah, it's a can, it means nothing, do you know what I mean? It's only it's fucking this, that and the other, which is, which is, which is right, you know, you, a contract, you can tear it up and wipe your ass on it, can't you? Um, but reality-wise, um, I'd rather that he was under, a, you know, a longer contract than, uh, than a shorter one. And of course, there is, you know, every opportunity or not opportunity, uh, every possibility in the future that a player can be sold. So it's better to have the longer contract, you know, in terms of uh, remuneration. Did I say that right now? Uh, in terms of um, the amount of the transfer fee that you can receive. Uh, obviously, Firmino and Salah uh, extended their deals in the summer, I believe. Um, and it's just all-round positivity. And I'll say it, guys, again, I think that under FSG at the moment, we're seeing positive news on a frequent basis. It's much better to be, you know, positive uh, going forward than miserable as sin like I have been for a few years and I know we like a rant and I know it's like it's natural for you know I think it's when when it's um, when it's negative when there's awful things going on people get you know it's more busier I think you know like the cop top members website I'm putting a promotion on there today for uh, Black Friday if you're interested um, uh, it will be on um, it'll be put out on social media and also I'm, I'll put it in the video description below if I remember it um, but it's it's worth it because it's in other words it's going to be cheaper than getting DKB.TV for a year and you'll get the membership for fifty quid thrown in. All right, so that might interest you. But um, on the members website, uh, I think it's quite quiet at the moment, and I, and I feel like it's quiet in our social media groups on Facebook, in the Cop Talk Facebook group, and our and our forums on CopTalk.com. I generally think that when it's um, when things are going right or things are positive. It's just quiet, you know. It's like people are content, you know. And you get a lot of people saying, "Why aren't people moaning? You know, where are all them fucking people now? <laughs> fucking, 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 you know what I mean?" And it's like because it's human nature for people to express themselves more, I think, during periods of negativity. And there's been plenty under the current ownership, of which they have admitted themselves and apologised for. And uh, maybe they're learning from it. Who knows? Um, but you know, I've got to be honest. I, I do. I, I don't like it when it's quiet. I prefer it when we've got something to talk about, but I'd much rather have positivity. And that's what I'm feeling at the moment under FSG. So you've got to give credit where it's due. Um, doesn't mean that you have to endorse them or support them or whatever, whatever your feelings are. But, you know, let's just, you know, appreciate it at the moment. Now, of course, there'll be people out there that will say, yes, but we haven't won anything. And that's very, very true. And, uh, you know, do you still support, or uh, would you support a takeover from, uh, you know, wealthy Arabs and all that? 
Yeah, I would. Um, but right now, I'm just like, things are good. You know, this is, you know, getting these uh, players time down to contracts and things. These are good things. You know, and in the past, you might have thought, mm, well, will he, won't he, and all that. And I think there was a bit of this with Mane. I was like starting to think, mm, maybe he does fancy that move to Spain, mate, you know. And it can still happen. We know this. We've seen this happen. Uh, with you know various players in the past that signed a contract and then left, but I don't think that's going to happen in this uh, in this situation. So I think we've all got to be uh, we've all got to be positive, guys. You know we like it. Let's stay positive. You know, and I know it can soon change. Oh, it can soon change. We know that, don't we? Um, but I've got to be honest. And last night I, when I when I when I was when I heard about the news, and um, I heard about it just before it went on the official LFC website. And uh, I was delighted. I was like, yeah, this is it. This is good. We're tying, you know, we're tying these players down. This is what we want. And I get it. I get it. A player can still leave. I get it. I get it. But like I said, having that extended contract means it can be more beneficial to the club, right, in the future, if that has to happen, all right? So I'm sure you're, I'm sure you're delighted. I'm, I'm, I'm delighted. Uh, I just want to see uh, Moreno, Alberto Moreno, now ink a 10-year deal with Liverpool Football Club to trigger you lot big time. Do you know what I mean? So, anyway, um, I'm about to uh, to go to my office now and um, I'm going to put the Black Friday deal online uh, and I'm going to see if I can pretend to do some work, basically. Um, I think it has been quiet during the international break. I'm not a fan of them, as you know. We won't go there again. Um, but the real football's back, and this is what you know. Last night, I did the news article on coptalk.com, You know, Mane signs, uh, not signs, uh, agrees new deal and everything. You know, etc. And I retweeted it from my own personal account at Duncan Oldham on Twitter. And I put with, and I put with it, I put um, at least the real football's back now, because that's what it felt like. Do you, do you understand by that? It was like for like the last week or so. However, it feels like a year. You know, I've been listening to Gareth Southgate this, Gareth Southgate that. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, mm. Um, mm. so I'll tell you what I've got to do today. I, I write a column for the uh, the local newspaper. Uh, you know, a, a, a sports column, and I, I, I don't know what to write about. So I need to, I need to think about something there. I can't talk about Liverpool all the time. Um, last the last column last month, I wrote about um, the uh, the UEFA Nations League. Is that's what it's called? Saying how much it doesn't interest me, but everyone keeps telling me I need to I need to give it a go. So maybe now it's got a bit. Further. When is the next international break, guys? Is that it now till next year? Some, have I got? Could it be February or March? Please tell me that's the case. It's not going to be, is it? Is it? I need to know. All right, I need to know when that is. Please let me know. Um, so we're getting back into the uh, to the to the full. We're getting back into the mix. Obviously, two video come fucking videos and consecutive days now shows you that the Premier League football is returning. So uh, I intend to uh, to keep dropping in and out um, with content. I obviously need to think about something for my DKB TV legends. All right. So don't forget if you if you take the Black Friday offer today, you'll get your DKB as well for a year. Well, seriously, don't miss it, guys. And you're supporting me. Do you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Mm. Leave me some comments. Leave me some comments. I, I love your comments, mate. Yeah, I honestly, are you like mates to me? You really are. And um, well, you are my mates. You probably some of you are probably better mates than my real fucking mates. You know what I'm saying? Um, leave me some comments. Is there anything that you'd like us to talk about uh, in particular? Uh, maybe next week now. But give me some ideas for videos and. Um, and I'll do that. Uh, if you like the Cop Talk podcast, I'm going to get back into that again. I know I keep fretting all this. I feel like I say this all the time, um, but the last few months, if not years, uh, have been very. I've been very indecisive about what to do with things, where to go. Do I really want to do this any longer? Sort of thing. I started this when I was what 23, something like that. 23, 24. I'm now 44. For fuck, you know what I'm saying, guys. You know, think about that for a minute. How long that is, and it's it's big. And I was like, well. Don't want to do it till I'm 64, like I'm going to live to 64. But you know what I mean? So, and uh, the, I do, I do, I absolutely love it. I love speaking with you guys. Um, but I really do need your support. So do support me with the Black Friday thing if you can. And if you're a DKB.TV subscriber or a Cop Top member, big respect. I appreciate that. So the podcast, I'll probably do a podcast on Monday, I think. Uh, and again, if you're interested in my radio show that I take part in, well, I do two a week. 
um, or if you you know want interest in the podcast that we do for that, just go on iTunes or your podcast app and search the three pundits. The three pundits. Uh, it's informal. It's banter. It is nothing serious. It's just you know it's a good laugh, and uh, obviously we're on Facebook under the same thing as well. So uh, just wanting to say basically. You know, well done to Liverpool for for getting the uh, Mane signed down on a you know on a on a longer contract, and there is protection there. Um, you know, we've made progress with the other players as well. We're not you know we're not pissing around, which is good. And uh, I also wanted just to give it like a little like you know check to uh, to FSG because it is under their ownership. And um, I am not naive, guys. I'm really not. Um, and maybe we will talk about the ownership at some point, you know, because I, I believe that the club is available for uh, for sale um, to the right people and the right price. Uh, but at the moment, that's not something that's heavily on my mind. Uh, that I'm just interested in our next game and uh, and doing well. And you know, like I said in last night's video, I I really hope that we can you know step up a little bit now because I feel that if we'd have started this season as we ended last season. I think we'd be well clear now. So we, we need to see some of those, don't we, start to, to drop some points. I've got to be honest, I'm feeling a little bit apprehensive about us this season. And, I, and, I'm, and you're probably thinking, why don't, why? What's wrong, Jubs? And it's just, I don't know, I just feel like there's just something missing a little bit. So I'm hoping that maybe after this international break, we're going to come back and <laughs> batter someone. You know what I'm saying, guys? All right? So, listen, have a good weekend. All right? Stay safe. Don't be getting any no fights with no, no guys just because some birds said something. You know, how oh, he's looking at me. Just leave it. You know what I'm saying, guys? Leave it. Put some on it as well. Do you know what I'm saying? Seriously. I I, I got a girl pregnant when I was 17, 18, I think. Do you know what I'm saying, guys? I don't, I don't regret it. I fucking regretted it at the time. Shit me pants. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and just be good. Just be good. Because I want you back here with me on Monday. We've got loads to talk about. You know, I want the ideas... I want to get back into it. I love it when we make the videos. And when these international breaks on, I'm sat there like this and bored off me tits, going through my phone, you know, just fucking messaging anyone just to have a conversation. Do you know what I'm saying, guys? So I need you guys around me to, to give me ideas, to inspire me. Do you know what I'm saying? And let's get back into it. Let's start with a win at the weekend. Let's get some podcasts out next weekend. Uh, next week, let's get some videos out on Coptalk.tv right. and DKB.tv and let's get it all going again. We go again. All right.